Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you for all the get well messages. My throat really hurts. My head is not so bad. And I'm only getting waves of dizziness now as opposed to the full on dizzy, nausea feeling. It is half past eight. I've seen the boys out. I have just run the hoover over, but that's wiped me out now. <laughs> um, I need to put some washing on because the laundry basket was full. And I'm making myself tea and I'm taking that to bed with me. I need to be well for tomorrow. Lee's booked the day off. So we can go on a train ride. I don't want to miss it. I don't, you know, he's taken this time off so we can do something fun together. <sighs> I hate sore throats. It's like burning, burning, burning. Ugh. I hate letting my families down as well. It's not just me it affects. It, you know, it affects however many families I'm looking after that day. And I hate that. But sometimes, sometimes you get ill. And to be fair, the amount of kids that have been off sick or have had snotty noses or have had coughs or what have you, since just before Christmas to now, I'm surprised I haven't had something sooner, if I'm honest. My immunity is pretty good these days. It's had to get good because of the children, you know, you look after children, you're, you know, exposed to everything. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's only so much I suppose you can fight off until eventually something gets through. So I'm going to drink this tea, or we'll make this tea, drink this tea, and then I'm going to go and lay down and read for a bit. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. <sighs> Ugh. It's going to be a very, very boring vlog. I'm just sitting and watching YouTube. I have made a cup of tea and I have had a bit of breakfast. And I have put washing on and I've now put it in the tumble dryer. But I'm back in bed. It's really just my throat now that's causing me a lot of problems. The dizziness seems to have passed. <sighs> the headache is lurking. It's kind of like hiding behind my eyes and then going, maybe, oh no, maybe, oh no. But I'll tell you what is causing me a big problem. I'll show you. It's taunting me. Look what Lee has left on the side. Why would he do that to me? They're just calling to me. Mm, come and eat me, Pip. You know you want to. Peel me. Put me in your mouth. Oh, it's just not fair. You don't leave chocolate in front of a chocolate addict, do you? I really need to go and have a bath and wash this. I do. I look really great today, don't I? Rocking the beauty, people. Rocking the beauty. <laughs> I am glad I took the day off, though. I decided to make the decision at 7 o'clock not knowing how I'd feel this morning because people obviously need to make plans. Um, which I had an amazing headache at seven. Um, I do feel much better this morning, but my throat really hurts. I need to be well for tomorrow, or at least well enough to go out, because Lee's taken the day off, and we have a day out planned. Our little train ride. And then Saturday, I've got my nephew, and I'm working Saturday night. And then Sunday, we're starting our first bit of the Thames Path walk with uh, me and Jackie. Jackie and I. Right. I might go and get myself some soup. 
and another cup of tea and a big glass of water. I should be drinking more water, shouldn't I? I've just heated myself up some tomato and mascarpone soup with a bit of cheddar on the top. I made another cup of tea. Okay, feeling a lot perkier, a lot, lot perkier. Um, throat's actually easing, which is nice. Um, yeah, I've had a bath, done my hair, just feeling a little bit more human. Um, and while I was in the bath, I was chatting with Daryl, um, text messaging, and he said he'd got a list of questions for me to make my video more interesting because it's really hard to do a vlog when you're poorly and you're not doing anything. Um, <laughs> so he's given me actually six, 17 questions um, that I'm going to answer and hopefully it will make the vlog a little bit more interesting. Okay, I'm going to try and talk up although my voice is still a bit sore but the traffic keeps going past. Okay, my first memory. So I think my first memory, I was probably three and it's something to do with Canada because we went to Canada when I was three um, to see family because my mum is half Canadian. Um, so it was either being in the woods, in the forest, camping um, when Mount St. Helens, Mount St. Helens blew up. Um, I remember the noise, I think. Maybe I just remember being told about it. I don't know, but I remember the woods or the forest and I remember the smell more than anything. And I always remember whenever I smelled pine, I'd always say I could smell Canada. Um, I also remember sleeping in a chest, like a trunk, clothes trunk. Um, it was like a, we used it like a crib, I suppose, like a cot for me. Um, and I also remember men diving off of a suspension bridge into a creek uh they were just diving they were just diving off i was with my aunt's boyfriend i can't remember his name and i should remember his name because this leads on to the next question so it says first crush now i remember that i liked him a lot and i remember everyone telling me i liked him a lot so I'm wondering if he was my first crush, my aunt's boyfriend. <laughs> I actually called my action man after him. Tony, I think his name was. I, I named my action man after him. My mum will be able to say whether or not I get this right or not. If it wasn't him, then I think it was probably Shaking Stevens. <laughs> but again, I just used to get really excited when he came on the TV on like Top of the Pops and stuff. Um, I guess that was a crush. I don't know. I mean, three years old. Can you have a crush at three years old? I had a boyfriend called Stephen Sayre when I was at school and he gave me a necklace with two love hearts on it. And I remember he gave it to me when I was in the infant. So I was younger than seven and he gave it to me and it had two hearts on it. And I remember he gave it to me and said he dropped it down the toilet, um, but he had washed it. <laughs> Aren't boys lovely? <laughs> so, yeah. Those were my first crushes, I think. Um, my current male celebrity crush. It's Nathan Fillion. It's always been Nathan Fillion. It'll always be Nathan Fillion. I love Nathan Fillion. 
Lee is very aware that I love Nathan Fillion and he's very aware that if Nathan Fillion arrived on the doorstep right now, he would whisk me away. I adore Lee. I do. And Nathan Fillion might be a complete arse. But there's just something about that man. Uh, did I pass my driving test first time? Yes, I did. I passed my driving test first time on my 16th, on my sister's 16th birthday. So it was the 2nd of October, whatever year that was. Um, so it was a double celebration. Uh, was it love at first sight with Lee? No, it wasn't actually love at first sight with Lee. Um, he made me laugh. So we met each other in a bar. He nicked my seat while I was on the toilet. Um, <laughs> when I came back, he was just chatty and he was nice. I was with a friend who was very hungover and we were supposed to be going to an MG event. And... Um, we didn't get to the MG event because my friend had been on a bender the night before and was suffering with a hangover. So when we got to his house and we walked across town, we only got as far as the pub. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So while my friend was semi comatose, his head on the on the bar, feeling a bit rubbish, I was chatting with Lee. Um, and yeah, then we just kind of. Yeah, I. he said he remembers the top I was wearing, which was like a. In my much thinner, thinner days, I had like a boob tube. It was the height of summer. It was a bank holiday weekend in August. And I'd got like a, a denim sort of triangle to halter neck top thing on my belly out, my belly ring and little shorts or something on. So he said he remembered the top I was wearing. That struck him. Funny that. Um, and I just remember him making me laugh. He made me laugh. And then we got together a few times. Um... And he just kept making me laugh. He did. And yeah, he made me laugh. And that won me over. And he said what won him over about me is I wasn't high maintenance. So I think, you know, it wasn't love at first sight for either of us. And then in fairness, we had to kind of get it together pretty quick after that because actually I fell pregnant and we'd only been together nine months. Um, so we were kind of putting a do or don't situation um you know we, we were parents pretty quick and it hasn't always been smooth sailing um but we adore each other absolutely adore each other and the bad things that have happened have actually made us stronger and i know it sounds like a cliche but it has um what would we call a daughter if we had one or she would be no name because we couldn't agree on one. That's not necessarily true. Um, the boys' names were the only names we could agree on. So it's a good job we only had two children. Um, there were lots of names I liked that he didn't. There were lots of names he liked that I didn't. I liked something a bit more unusual. He wanted something a bit more traditional. Um, I wanted Willow. He said absolutely not. Um, and then well, Kenzie was actually Evie. For, well, up until I had my 20 week scan and we found out that Kenzie was a boy. Um, but yeah, so I suppose Evie is what we would have called a girl. Favourite UK place that I've visited? Do you know what? I don't know. And it's made even harder by the fact that I'm seeing a lot more places and there are so many beautiful places out there. So just travelling this year, I've seen some stunning places. I don't know, you know. I don't know if I can answer that. Wales in general is beautiful. Um, Cornwall is beautiful. I haven't been to Cornwall for a long time. It's on my list to go back. I don't know. There are some stunning places in the UK. Um, the favourite place in the world that I've visited. I have only been to Paris, Malta, Canada crossed the border into America and back again did a day trip but I was three and I don't remember that uh, I did I did the Rockies and stuff when I was older I went with an ex-boyfriend to Canada for three weeks we did um, we did Edmonton area we went up to Jasper in the Rockies that was lovely um, and we also did Vancouver where my family is from in that area um, Barcelona with my sister. Barcelona is stunning. Stunning. Uh, the Gaudi stuff, because he did a lot of the architecture, 
beautiful i mean that is a that is a place to visit absolutely a place to visit um yeah i don't know i guess if i was to pick somewhere to go back it would be canada because i do love canada my aunts my aunt and uncle and my cousins used to live in trail in bc on the top of a mountain and that was beautiful so i'd probably go back to canada um advice i would give 16 year old me probably don't leave it so long before you get counseling don't leave it till you break but to be fair i think i had to get to that point before i was able to talk about things that were causing the anxiety and for probably uh things to develop to a point where a counsellor would understand what was going on with me as well I think that's probably what I would say but I don't think necessarily I would because I think it would change a lot of who I was hmm Easter or Christmas Christmas love Christmas salt or vinegar on chips first we had this conversation at the weekend it's always the salt first so that when the vinegar goes on it spreads it out uh sugar or milk on your cereal first salt uh sugar for the same reason you put the sugar on and then you put the milk on and it washes through um secret seven or famous five the inner blighton books i read both of them when i was little and i can't tell you which one i preferred the secret seven or the famous five I want to say Secret Seven, but I don't know what my basis for that is because I can't actually remember the stories. I just remember that I loved them and collected them. But I'm going to go with Secret Seven if I had to pick one. Gorillas or polar bears? Now, I did say to Daryl, how on earth can you compare gorillas and polar bears? They're like completely different things. But I would like to go and spend time with gorillas. They'd probably kill me. But I think because they're so similar to humans, I think that's why I would pick gorillas. I think. Uh, cats or dogs both of them for different reasons um i love dogs because they're cuddly and they're loyal and they're proper companions but they're a bit too needy um and i like cats because they're independent yeah so i don't know if i was to get one which i'm not going to if i was to get one it would be a cat McDonald's or Burger King? Neither one of them is very good for me at the moment. One, because I can't, shouldn't, say can't, you know I do eat naughty things that I shouldn't eat and I end up with tummy ache. I can't eat the burgers, I can't eat the rolls and stuff. So that limits me. I shouldn't be eating the chips and I'm not really into meat right now. So I'd normally say a McDonald's chicken select meal, but now I wouldn't really want to go to either, unless it's for the ice cream, in which case it would be a mcdonald's because i like their ice creams uh, and the last one is would i eat an earwig or a centipede if i've got to the point where i have to eat an earwig or a centipede i don't think it would really matter by that point you'd have to be pretty hungry i'd probably eat anything at that point um, although i'd rather eat the vegetation that the earwig or the centipede was eating before i'd eat the earwig or the centipede um, uh, FYI, Daryl said he would eat the centipede, no, the earwig, because it has less feet. <laughs> okay. Um, a centipede, I imagine, feels a bit fluffy going down because of all the feet. So maybe I'd want to eat the earwig as well, because it's less fluffy feeling. I don't know. Anyway, those are my 17 questions from Daryl from Camper Van Tales. Um, I'm going to give my voice a rest now because my throat's hurting again. <laughs> I'm going to drink my tea and um yeah read a bit more of my book my neighbor across the road <coughs> stood in his window flashing the light on and off i don't know what he's doing i hope he's okay and he's not trying to send me morse code via lights oh see it's going on again off again on again off again Now he's in the window. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, he might be changing the light bulb and then testing it. 
I hope he's not been, you know, like held hostage or something and he's trying to get a message out to me. <laughs> SOS through lights. <laughs> I'm starting to feel a lot, a lot better. I really am, which is good because I was really worried. Lee's got the day off tomorrow and I was really worried that after how rubbish I felt last night that I was going to have to cancel on him. I don't think I will. I think I'll be fine. My throat hurts, but my headache's gone. I don't feel dizzy anymore. So I think I'll be good. I've just made myself a big plate of vegetables. You see, I've just heated up some of the stuff I cooked up the other day. Loads of vegetables, a couple of those veggie sausages that I've reheated, some cheese and some mayo. Show me your buffering cat face. Mm. <laughs> How'd it go? I can't, I'm too tired. You're too tired. Sugar. <gasps> I have consumed my blood. Kenzie's finishing off pasta so it doesn't have to go in the bin. Thanks, Kenzie. I don't like wasting food. Mm -hmm. No way. Traffic's gone. Okay. I think I'm going to finish today's vlog right there. I've tried this about three times and traffic keeps coming past and disturbing me. So Kenzie's just shouted out the window and told it all to go away. It seems to have done the trick. Anyway, I'm going to finish it here. I'm feeling so much better. Um, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow's day trip with Lee. Um, we are going on a train ride to a historical city. Hmm. I'm going to leave that with you. You can think about where it might be. And you can come and check back tomorrow to see where we end up. Um, but yes, I'm feeling really good. I am now full of vegetables. Um, but I think this is probably quite long enough. So I'm going to edit it and uh, get this uploaded a bit earlier than usual and uh, Lee will be home soon so I get to hang out with him. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.